Hello everyone and welcome to a rather different video than my uh, last content. So as we all know today is the 30th of December which means tomorrow we will celebrate the New Year's Eve well actually in two days but who cares the 31st of December is basically the day we finish 2019 officially and because of that I want to tell you a bit of the story of MMS how we got into the place that we are in at the moment and have a bit of a thank you message. There is already one on the screen, but that's not everything I want to say. So let's start with the start of MMS. Basically, this is a very late one year anniversary of the creation of the MMS name because MMS was created, I believe, on 8th, 8th, 8th of November 2018, and that's how it all began. I am not sure about the date, but yeah, it began in November 2018. Just as a small project, you know, it was something new because it was an Air Factor AI Racing League. It wasn't something that was done before because, you know, um, most of the Air Factor Leagues were literally Air Factor Leagues. That's it. You drove in them. But I got the idea that, you know what, let's not allow people to drive and instead sign up their own driver. And that kind of became the whole solution for MMS to become and you know season one pretty interesting uh, first season the championship fight was somewhat close there was a lot of controversies a lot of mismanagement from myself but I will not stay talk about the negatives because it was one of the better seasons I've hosted and I was very proud of the league season two people say one of the best seasons as debatable uh, it had great racing, we used a very good mod, it was overall, again, another lovely season. Season 3, my personal favourite season from the original MMS series. Absolutely loved it, the racing was great, there were engine failures, it was just everything I ever wanted from MMS to just be. And yeah, one of my favourite seasons. Season 4, I will not talk about the negatives, I will not talk how, uh, about how everything just hit the shitter. It was halfway through a somewhat decent season, right? We brought in some new tracks such as Shanghai back then. It was good. It wasn't the worst. Obviously, the mod shit, uh, shit itself uh, midway through the season, so that's kind of bad. But uh, yeah, I hoped for season 5 to be better, but uh, we all know how that went with season 5. Um, I will not speak about the negatives because Aaron uh, said that he might do like a three-part series on the rise uh, on the fall and the rise of MMS. Uh, so I will cooperate with him uh, on that. So be sure to uh, watch that when it's uh, getting released. But yeah, season five, the mod was good at the start, but then again, even earlier than before, the mod decided to absolutely hit the fan and it and it didn't work uh, but yeah season five had good racing it was just like f1 in the 90s almost nobody finished the race um and then i just said you know what i had i have enough i had i had enough of this garbage quoting jack quack and i just deleted the whole server shut myself off i guess ai racing doesn't work then I started RFCS after like two or one month, <laughs> and RFCS lasted two day two rounds because of the mod that had a very, that had a broken damage model, and it just wasn't the best. It just didn't work. Not everything has to work. Uh, and after that, I was like, well, okay, I, I I guess it doesn't work again. Uh, and I created the MMA, uh, the Master Motorsports Air Factor Race Series official discord server which is the current mms server the current mms it started out just like season one just people signing up teams i implemented tiering and a bit of r d with the talent files as i finally know how to use them and <laughs> sorry for that i'm a bit sick and um it was again one of the best seasons i have ever witnessed the rebooted season 1 was everything I could have asked for. It had a very tight title fight, it had 
surprises in the season. It had back markers, scoring. It was a, it was everything I ever asked. Season two was supposed to be that, but what people don't know outside of the staff chat is that when season one ended, I already knew that season three is going to be team owning. And because of that, I focused on two things at once. I focused on uh, MMS Season 2 and MMS Season 3 at the same time. While MMS Season 2 was quite easy to set up because everything was set up in advance, you know, it was just down to recording the races and uploading them to you and doing the championship. And Season 3 was getting developed, would be developed as we moved on in uh, season 2, but it didn't work that way. The reason why it didn't work that way is because once Season 2 started, I started to, like, lose my sheer... I just lost any sheer enjoyment from MMS. It was quite sad, and I just wasn't coping the best. My mental state deteriorated quite fast, and it wasn't the easiest, that's why I put MMS on a hiatus after one round. I just couldn't bear with it. I wasn't happy with what MMS was. And I just, you know, I got help from people in the South chat. And I launched Season 3 very, you know, I launched Season 3 sort of prematurely. You know, it worked at the start, but then people had issues with deliveries. And uh, I just scrapped the whole custom teams concept. And we started Season 3 as it was supposed to be started. Uh, basically people taking over F1 teams and managing them in the glory with drivers existing as well. Uh, yeah, and then um, yesterday on 29th of December, I literally woke up and I was like, hey, remember MMS Juniors? Let's just make it, make it better. And that's how Formula Junior has been created. Um, yeah, literally, I made everything in one day. I don't know how, but I did, and it worked. So, I'm not, I'm not sad. Now, the future of MMS, I basically created MMS into what I wanted to be. It became a sanctioning body for championships. We have the MMS F1 Championship, MMS Formula Junior World Championship. We have MMS uh, Intercontinental Endurance. Wait. Intercontinental Endurance Racing Championship, hosted by Poke, Kart, hosted by Louis. There are probably there's probably going to be Formula E. Uh, sadly, the Monaco event will be called off because Monaco on our factor doesn't work. But there will be probably even touring cars. You know, MMS will basically have branches sticking out of it with amazing racing series, and that's what I wanted it to become. And honestly. With the current state of MMS, I feel really fulfilled. And the reason I feel fulfilled is because of the community. It's because of you guys. Because you supported me, no matter what happened. And I really want to thank you for that. I really want to thank you for just staying with me, even when MMS was a shithole. Thank you for... Thank you to the staff chat, to the staff team, to people like Alex, Lou, Mikhail, Aaron, Toodles, for teaching me to never give up, to learn from my mistakes and to make something better each time, to learn on those mistakes, to don't give up just because something didn't work. That's life. And I really want to thank everyone for that. I really want to just thank every single person in the MMS community because you matter to me because without you this league wouldn't exist and just thank you for these for this amazing over one year of MMS existing and thank you for the whole 2019 because it has been the best year in my entire life and I hope that we can have an even better 2020 if we just continue to make MMS what it is and make it even better. Thank you very much. And for the last time in 2019, make sure be, to be safe on the roads and wear your seatbelt. See you on the 3rd of January 
for the Formula Junior Round 1 Bahrain. Bye bye. I love you all.